Hello! I'm JQ. I'm TQ. We're the Q Brothers. And this, this is Small Flower TV. Um, we are talking to you right now before we head to the Cubs game where they will beat the Sox. Well, we'll see. Well, you know. <laughs> Optimism. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very Cub. Yeah, optimism in, fight of, in spite of all uh, evidence to the contrary. <laughs> That's the Cubs' way. At least early in the season, and it's still early in the season. Anyway, enough about baseball. Let's talk about men's cool fragrances from India. So these, we got these a few years back. From um, Aroma. From Aroma. We got these little, these little guys, which are um, oil-based fragrances. Yeah. And they've expanded the line just recently. Yeah. Well, and, and they were quickly became like a favorite of... Our dad, basically, you. dad at Christmas went nuts with them and yeah. showed all these guys. And for nine bucks or ten bucks, you, yeah. right? It's whatever it was, I don't, it's fourteen. But it's I think it's like thirteen bucks. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. But but anyway, it's fourteen dollars. I mean, it, that it, powerful, nice fragrance. Here's the thing about their oil-based fragrance. I haven't tried the, the sprays yet, but the scent is amazing. Yeah, first of all, great. particularly that Olabamum citrus is become yeah, my yeah. favorite. You know, yeah. uh, we sell probably. More of that than the other two combined, I think. But know? they're all nice. But they're all really great. I have, I have all three. <clears throat> yeah. The thing about the oil-based ones that I like is that it sticks on you mm -hmm. without being loud. It's like you don't have to spray a bunch on. Yeah, oil is great that way. You know what I mean? And and it's only if you get close enough do you smell it. And yeah. You're not like cologne guy when you walk into a room. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. That wouldn't be good for our other brother. No, he likes to be. He likes to be announced. Yeah. He likes a. Da, 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 da. <laughs> a man with European clothes walked in the room. <laughs> all right, I, here, just let's let's do one. We'll, we'll split this, all right? Because we'll, I got I've only got three right there. I'm saying also got three suits him. Yeah, no, it works really well for him. G's a good smelling man. I know. People love it. I know. This is the uh, cedar lavender. Wow, I like that. Yeah. I'm not normally a cedar guy, but this is good. I'm not normally a lavender guy. And I'm not, yeah, either of those are not the things that I would pick this out. This isn't like a sweet lavender. No. It's much more rare and lavender and sage sort of meat, you know, when you rub your hands. But it's also not lavender, like a, yeah. And you're like, oh, it's almost like a sage thing, you know? It's like when you crush the leaves in love the lavender That's what I mean, yeah. in your hands. But also, I mean, there is a sweetness, but it's, it doesn't come from the lavender. And the cedar is not like, hi, I'm woodsy cedar guy. Like, it's very well balanced. No, it's really nice. I mean, it's just, that's a great fragrance. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, mean, like you I smell, also think that they don't try to do too much no, yeah. with them. You know what I mean? Himalayan yeah, cedar wood, lavender, orange, patchouli, bay laurel, and elemi. Elemi, yeah. yeah. It is. Oh, I really like it. Wow, I would wear this. I'm going to wear it. It's just, I mean, like, I, right now in this kind of weather where it's starting to get uh, humid outside. It's nice and it's cool. So if you show, crisp. yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's still, it's a, there's a warm part of the fragrance, it's but it's not a hot fragrance. It's very, like, the rain just fell in the forest, you know? Oh, I like that. It's great. Yeah, that's very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to wear that, I have to say. So we're doing next is. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, Softball yeah. injury. Softball injury. 16, men's softball. Not the kind you guys play in the rest of the country. Um, 16 inch softball, no gloves. Men's Hurt softball, myself. men's fragrance, men's outing to yes. the Cubs game. <laughs> right? This is a, a day of men. It's a man day. It's a man's day. <laughs> this is Vetiver. This is, this is Tonka Vetiver. So in here, um, <laughs> Tonka bean with essential oils of Vetiver, lemon, Himalayan, cedarwood, lavender, Petit grain. It's interesting. The, the oil version of this is much sweeter. Hmm. Um, this one, the vetiver comes across a lot stronger. And in the oil form, maybe because tonka bean oil is so potent, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, it has almost like a vanilla sweetness, the oil-based one does. Yeah, this one doesn't. This one doesn't at all. It has the vetiver thing, which... I'm going to use a, a metaphor right, to right. describe vetiver that's going to sound really gross, but actually is in the best way possible. It smells like a stubbed out cigarette. 
Yeah, this doesn't, but vetiver at its heart, vetiver at its heart yeah. does, and so there's like a smoky, burnt quality to yeah. vetiver that gets into anything you put vetiver in. But this doesn't feel like all like, oh, yeah, it, yeah. it feels like no. There's a nice floral aspect to it. The lavender is and there's citrus out. in there. Yeah, too. definitely. I like it. It's not. I don't love it like I love the other one. But if I you mean, go more into like the classic man scent, you might think. Yeah, see, this is the more traditional masculine. Which is weird because I think of the oils, it's the least masculine. Ah, huh, interesting. Yeah. Good to know. Olibanum citrus, which is your favorite oil, right? I mean, olibanum is the Latin name for frankincense, so it's frankincense and citrus. It's like this is just a perfect. And we should, while, we're, while we're smelling this, we should mention, so each of these also comes in, now it comes in a spray, and it's, you know, I also, getting more into the, it's not inexpensive anymore, but it's not super expensive. And a big old bar of soap. And a big, and so bars of soap, which are also nice. Oh, these are, these are sealed up, so there's no more smoke coming through. But it has <coughs> walnut shells in it, so it's an exfoliating <coughs> soap. I've used one of the soaps, they're great. <laughs> Triple milled. Try that. It sounds, it sounds cool. So this is Olibanum, which is frankincense, as we mentioned. Cedarwood, lemon, patchouli, myrrh, basil, ginger grass, juniper berry, and pine. What? This, so I was. Uh, do you remember that time that uh, we were stuck in my? Actually, here with the fragrance, I should say. Olibanum, benzoin, bergamot, uh, grapefruit, Indian lime, patchouli, vetiver and Himalayan cedarwood in the fragrance. I was reading off the soaps before, so maybe that wasn't entirely accurate for all these fragrances, but pretty close, pretty close. Um, do you remember when we <sighs> were stuck in Miami after Costa Rica? Yeah. And uh, and you and Lori went to sleep and I went out in Miami? Do you remember I left? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't sound exactly great what you just said, considering <laughs> we, we all three of us were in the same hotel room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. And and I go out in I go out in Miami that night and I put this cologne on. Mm -hmm. and it was like a crowded area and mm -hmm. a lot of you know Miami a lot of people wearing cologne and perfume yeah. right. I'm like on South Beach and yeah. this girl I walk by and this girl just goes, "Who is that?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Is that you? Is that smell you?" And I was like, "Yep." And she goes, "How do you know?" I'm like, "Because I definitely don't smell like anyone else here." <laughs> And she came up, she's like, what is that? And I didn't tell her it was a $14 oil-based color. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, I don't, I was like, it's a combination of a lot of things. I can't really tell you. <laughs> that was great. You get, I get stopped for the scent a lot. Oh. So how is this compared to the oil? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty similar. Okay. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is I love this one. I think I want to wear that one. Definitely for today, I'm thinking this is a better place. Cedar lavender, today, right? Nice. Yeah. Anyway, Maroma, uh, for the guys out there, and you know, some of these, you I know, would say sell these, two, these two can win. Yeah, I would say this one would be the least. Uh, but the oil, we maybe not, like as you said, the oil, maybe not. Sell that one to win, too. Yeah, yeah, I would say all of these are for. You don't even need to be that adventurous of a woman, but if you're into great fragrances and don't mind something that's not expressly feminine, then I think you yeah, can wear any if you like some woodsy notes, then yeah. you're definitely gonna be yeah. into it. And these are well balanced woodsy notes. Yeah, and they're and they're essential oil fragrances. That's the other thing. It's like That's these so are cool. pure essential oil fragrances. So enjoy them. Um, we do. Alright? See you next time. Bye bye.